Hey guys, so in this video I will be going over the newton raphson method, which estimates the root location of a function using the derivative of the function. So let's go ahead and get started. This is my given function and my given bound, and my answer error tolerance needs to be less than 10%. So the first thing I'm going to do is graph the function. Which, uh, which I have already done here in MATLAB, so that it's nice and pretty for you. The next thing I need to do is calculate the derivative of the function. So my given function is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6. And so when I take the derivative of that, I get 6x squared plus 10x. My third step is to perform my first iteration, and I'm going to continue that on the next page. So step A is to identify my x of i and the function value and derivative value at this location. So in this case, my x of i I'm going to denote as x of 0, and that's just going to be my given bound. And I'm going to take that value and substitute it into my function and my derivative. I'm going to get negative 4.5 and 6.5. Next, I need to calculate x of i plus 1 using the newton raphson equation. And I've expanded on that down here in blue. So x of i plus 1 is just notation for the uh, new guess of our root location. And then x of i is notation for our previous guess. And then, of course, we have the function value at our previous guess and the function value at our derivative. So we already have the pieces to our equation here, so we're just going to substitute them in. So x of i plus 1 is going to be 0 0.5 minus the quantity of negative 4.5 divided by 6.5. And I get that that is 1.19231. That is going to be labeled as x1. So the last thing we need to do for this iteration is calculate the error. And I've expanded on that down here in purple. So since we don't know the exact root location, I'm going to compare my current root estimate to my previous root estimate in order to determine how far off I am. So my current root estimate is this 1.19231 value. And since this is our first iteration, and we don't have any previous iterations to compare this number to, we're going to use 0 for our previous guess. And so that will give me a 100% error, which should make sense because this is our first iteration. So because 100% is greater than 10%, we will need to perform a second iteration. Before we do that, though, I'm going to go back to my graph and show you where our estimates are. So I'm going to use red to denote x of 0. 
which is right here. And then using the newton raphson method, we calculated an x of 1 value. And that was 1.19231. So it's probably about right in here. So we've gotten closer to the actual root, but as you can see, we're still pretty far off. So that's why we need to perform another iteration. So in this case, our x of i is going to be x of 1, which is 1.19231. Then we need to determine function value and the derivative value. The function value. 4.4980 and the derivative value is 20.45272. Next we need to calculate our new guess using the newton raphson equation. So our most current guess is 1.19231. And so we're going to subtract that from 4.4980 divided by 20.45272. And that will give us a value of 0 0.97274. And this I'm going to denote as x of 2. And so then the last thing we need to do is calculate our error. So our current guess is 0 0.9. 7274. And our previous guess this time is the estimate value that we got from our first iteration. And so that's the 1.19231 value. And that gives us an error of 22.6%, which is less than the previous error, but it's still greater than 10%, so we will need to perform a third iteration. Before we do that, though, I'm going to go plot x2 on my graph so that I can see if I'm getting closer to the root value or not. Okay, and then we determine that x2 was 0.97. So, that's about right there. So we're definitely a lot closer. Okay. So moving on to my third iteration, my x of i term this time is going to be x of 2, and that is 0 0.97274, and then I calculate the function value and the derivative value.
and I get 0 0.566. Five six and fifteen point three nine seven one two. So then I need to calculate my x of i plus one term. So this will be zero point nine seven two seven four minus the quantity of 0 0.56656 divided by 15.39712. And that gives me a value of 0 0.93594. Which is denoted as x of 3 because this is our third iteration. And so, the last thing I need to do is calculate my error. So, my current estimate is 0 0.93594. My previous estimate was 0 0.97. Two seven four. I divide all of that by my most current estimate. I multiply by a hundred, and that gives me three point nine percent. And so, since three point nine percent is less than the ten percent that we were restricted by, that means we found the answer to our problem, and the answer is this value right here. So if we go back to our graph, x3, or x of 3, is going to be about right there, which, as you can see, is pretty close to the actual root value. So that's it. I hope this video helped you better understand the Newton-Raphson root finding method.